Uh, just to kind of give an overview, Mr. Chairman, the uh, Missouri may never be again in the same position we are in terms of opportunity for positive and serious tax reform. Uh, the uh, fair tax re reform is a personal liberty issue. It moves us dramatically forward in terms of personal liberties brings a new level of transparency that we have not seen for generations in tax um, policy and fiscal accountability. It effectively restricts political power of the political power of bureaucrats and elected officials to pick winners and losers in the marketplace. And it empowers Missouri's economic engine, especially small business, to generate jobs, and motivate success in a way that other states will envy. Uh, it increases the take-home pay of workers it is, results in a real pay raise for the lowest income. Uh, it is more stable than the income tax. It provides a real incentive for new and relocating businesses. It expands the tax base to both services and retail sales. It re retains Missouri's competitive state sales tax advantage that we already enjoy. It shifts the business focus from taxation to customers and employees. It eliminates government control on how we spend our income. It eliminates the, incent the disincentive for success by ta taxing consumption instead of our labor. It taxes thieves, cheaters, and illegals. And it is designed to have no impact on property tax or local sales tax. Is it a fair statement that under your proposal we're going to actually do away with all the exemptions that we currently have? That is correct. That is correct. Including the agricultural exemption? Well, the agriculture is business to business, so it doesn't require an exemption. It won't be taxed. Uh, your agricultural, th those inputs to agriculture, for example, fertilizer, combines, um, uh, feed for if you're raising livestock, those will not be taxed. Those will be business to business. The, that, that cattle business will be taxed when it's sold as a steak in the grocery store. Uh, school buses and ambulances for ambulance districts and school districts. Those would be sales taxed if they're purchased for uh, re at retail sales. Uh, tuition, colleges. College tuition is not taxed. So it will be exempt. That's right. And it clearly it, says so. In well, it, it, it is covered. It is not included. It's not a, a specific exemption. It's just not included with the definition of what's taxable. Um, insurance premiums. Would be taxed. Unless they're business to business. I mean, if you're a business and you're paying insurance, uh, then that, that is part of your business transaction and that would not be taxed. Uh, physicians, lawyers. Those would be taxed. That's right. All those services would be taxed at the retail level, uh, other than business to business sales. Any questions? <laughs> Representative? Yes. What about uh, uh, new homes? New homes it, it would be taxed. What about one about time? Old homes? They would never be taxed again. No. They, new homes would come in, they would be basically grandfathered in as old homes, and they would never be taxed. They've been taxed under the current income tax system. So any transaction for an old home, if I buy a new home or build a new home, I will pay sales tax on that. Now there will be embedded costs that go away and there will be income taxes that, that, for example, realtors would otherwise be paying that will go away. So the cost of that home will, will go down. Whether it will go down the full amount of the tax, I can't tell you at this point. But once I bought that, then if I sold that house to you, you would not pay sales tax on that house. It would never again be charged taxes. This, the fair tax charges ta taxes an item one time. It's never taxed again. Thank you. Uh, rental property tax, rents tax. Rents are taxed. Uh, um, That's why if you build a rental property, you will not be taxed in the construction of that because that tax would be in the retail rent. I want to testify in favor of the fair tax for Missouri. I believe it is um, a necessary thing for Missouri to have in order to get back up into prominence in the United States. I'm not afraid of paying taxes. I'm not afraid of this fair tax. Uh, the thing that scares me about taxes sometimes is I don't know how much I'm paying. And this will alleviate that concern of mine. It'll make the taxes very, very uh, obvious, and I think that's fair and what we need. I'm for this uh, fair tax uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that I believe the uh, initiative will simplify the tax code. And everybody knows that we need to do that. Uh, secondly, I think um, it will give my business more money to work with um, up front to where I can provide uh, better services to my clients and uh, maybe more money to my employees as well. Non-compliance with our income tax code, whether you're talking Missouri or federal, 
is rampant. Um, some of it's intentional, <laughs> some of it's unintentional, uh, simply because of complexity. Uh, and some of it is attributable to the fact that so many people are outside the system to begin with, don't even file a tax return, um, and we're talking about everyone that's, uh, whether they're in the country illegally, whether they're just a visitor, a tourist. Uh, the thing about sales tax, anyone coming in legally or illegally, yeah, legally or illegally is going to participate if they consume any products, you know, goods or services in this state, in this country. Uh, because it takes the rascal element, you know, out of taxation, that's what makes We're getting it. Getting here, and I, I assume that Representative Emery has handed in an amendment which would uh, be discussed on several occasions. The taxation of new homes, yet I cannot find it any place in in the current document. And I think that's that's one of the major problems with this, is that this is an idea that has been sort of cobbled together and a lot of questions are remained unanswered. For example, on uh, page 2, line 12, rental property or taxable services in this state. Seems to me that you could describe what those taxable services are so people would know when they vote what they're voting on. Probably the, uh, the realtors, of course, are concerned about the home taxation and, frankly, about the uh, Commission taxation. I, I have an in, I have a fascinating question, though. We talk about this will increase um, the ability of people to be free of uh, of government. Yet they're going to be required to register and be qualified to obtain the sales tax rebate. So I assume we're setting up a registration program for all families. That certainly strikes at odds with the freedom question. Obviously, our concern is you're going to put us in the tax collection business of collecting monies on the taxes on the premiums that we, we charge for title insurance, which is charged on every transaction of real estate in the state of Missouri. Um, the other issue is we have direct operations where we actually go out and do title searches, where you actually do a search to make sure the title insurance is a, is a valid product, and you also do closing uh, services where you are going to actually close that transaction. And we would we think you're going to be paying a tax on the title search and a tax on the clothing operation and a tax on the um, title insurance itself. So I, I don't haven't seen the amendment that's been offered on new home construct new home purchases. And I I assume that's just the actual cost of the home, but would not include any of the services that are associated with closing <laughs> that transaction. 